In today's tech world, you will often hear the terms DevOps, MLOps, and AIOps. But what do they really mean? And like, how are they different from each other? Well, that's the purpose of this video. In this video, I'll help you to understand how these terms differ, what problems they solve, what tools they use, and why are they needed. So let's get started. We'll start with DevOps. So what is DevOps? Well, in very simple terms, DevOps helps you to deliver software faster. You may have seen in your company that the company uses practices like CICD, which is continuous integration and delivery using various tools like GitHub Actions, Docker and Kubernetes. So these tools and these practices helps you to re release software faster, not like weekly or monthly, but whenever you need and frequently and that to high quality software. So let's look at a simple pipeline of a DevOps enabled system. If you see this uh, workflow, you will see that it starts from code commit. Once you commit the changes, then your GitHub Actions workflow triggers, right? It probably you have added some tests. So it first runs those tests. If those pass, then it builds your Docker image. It pushes that to registry and then maybe your Argo CD kicks in and it picks up the image and deploys to your Kubernetes environment. Now, if you're not sure about GitHub Actions, Docker, Kubernetes, don't worry. Uh, I'll probably try to cover that in a separate video, but those are big topics in themselves. So I'm not going to cover in this video, but at a high level, you get a sense of what DevOps is, hopefully. Now let's look at MLOps. Now MLOps came into picture because when you talk about machine learning systems, then those systems have their own complex workflows. So MLOps extends DevOps principles to machine learning. Like it helps you to manage the machine learning model lifecycle. What does that lifecycle look like? So you may have data preparation, then you may have model training, then you may have deployment and monitoring. So all these steps combined together, um, it's hard for DevOps itself to address this complex pipeline. So that's where ML Ops kicks in, which is machine learning plus operations. Here is a simple diagram, which will help you to understand. So you have data processing. You may be having a lot of data, which you want to use, then do feature engineering on top of that. Then, you know, feed it to a machine learning model, help it to get trained do the deployment and then monitor and maintain. So you want to automate all these steps and that's where ML Ops comes in. I, I hope so far it's clear. Now let's move to AI Ops. Now why AI Ops? So, so far ML Ops is helping you to deploy your model, right? But what happens in your production, you may be having issues and your ops team, you know, may be finding it hard to debug those issues. So AI Ops, what it does is it uses artificial intelligence to automate IT operations. So what it will do, it will take the data from logs and stuff, detect, analyze, and then respond to issues in your system. Now you can think of it like a assistant to your DevOps team or MLOps team. So it will help those guys to find the root cause analysis. It will also help you to detect anomalies predict, you know, predict anomalies and uh, also help you to fix and resolve the issues. Now, simple examples are like tools like Datadog, New Relic, things like that. Here is a simple diagram. So, a so AI Ops is helping you to do trend forecasting. Like in future, you may be having some anomalies. Um, now, it goes through your data, through your logs. It tries to find out patterns and detect like in future what problems can arise. So it gives you alerts or it tells you that, can I go ahead and fix this problem? Or maybe it has found some issue. So it's like an assistant and it's also doing forecasting. Then it helps with workflow orchestration. And like I mentioned, anomaly detection and root cause. So I hope it's clear till this point. Now to help you you know, in, in a very simple fashion uh, to help you understand all these things, I have created this table. 
and here you can see what is the primary focus of each of these terms or let's call it practices what are the key components what are the goals which core tools are being used and what challenges are being solved so let's start quickly with the primary focus like i mentioned for devops it's it, it is dealing with software development and operations automation mlops is dealing with machine learning model life cycle management and ai ops is automating and enhancing it operations using ai what are the key components in devops you have ci cd you have infrastructure as code like terraform and then you have monitoring in mlops you are dealing with data processing model training model deployment model monitoring and in ai ops it's anomaly detection root cause analysis predictive analysis so what are the goals like i mentioned speed up software delivery for devops reduce deployment errors improve collaboration for ml ops ensure reliable and efficient deployment of ml models and continuously improve model performance and ai ops automate it operations improve system reliability and reduce incident response time what are the core tools core tools so it can be jenkins or github actions docker kubernetes terraform for ml ops like tensorflow ml flow cube flow for ai ops like i mentioned datadog new relic and then what challenges are you solving with devops deployment automation infrastructure management with ml ops automated data processing and model training handling and then with ai ops reducing false alarms alarm sorry predicting incidents and automating responses i hope with this table and with this explanation you have a high level idea of what these practices are doing what problems they are solving what is their focus area and you have a sense of what kind of skills you are looking at in each of these cases so with that said i think we have reached the end of this video thanks for watching bye